What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of AZEC Trim Talk. I know we aren't on our typical ground level or looking at a wall mock-up, but today, we're looking overhead. I've always enjoyed a beautiful yet thought-out trim detail. Whether it's an interior or an exterior application, a coffered ceiling allows you to add depth and unique trim work to any of your builds. Now, I'm no master trim carpenter, but ahead you'll see how easy this port ceiling really is with AZEC trim and moldings. There are a few numbers and angles involved, but it is pretty straightforward. Let's dive into the coffered ceiling install with AZEC trim and molding. Alright guys, so we got the drywall ripped down, everything is uh, down to the rafters. We reframed it with some 7 16th OSB, and then we framed it out with some 2x6 pressure treated. Next, we'll build the beams. So building the beams, we want to install uh, one way and then install the other. We're going to be using 5 quarter by 6 here, so let's take a look. I set the 2x6s so the outside boxes were larger and the interior was a few inches smaller. Here we are boxing in the interior of each rectangle. Make sure you utilize the AZEC protective film on any installation, keeping those boards as clean as possible. Alright guys, as you can see here, we have our horizontals already installed. Next we're going to run our verticals. Kind of looks weird, but it'll shape up after a little while. Here, I use the Cortex screw and plug system to fasten to the pressure treated boards. These will be covered later on in the install, so the plug isn't necessary. So now that we have these set, next we're going to be capping the beams. So we'll be running the long pieces first, so top and bottom here, and then after those are set, we'll be running our short runs in between. Uh, we won't be setting them flush, we'll be recessing them about a quarter of an inch. So I have a piece of quarter inch MDF ripped down to a five and a half inch uh, width. So it'll allow me to fit it in the groove and allow me to get the proper depth that we're looking for. So let's take a look at the install. The quarter inch MDF was tough to use for a one man install. So I ripped down additional blocking to two and three quarters inches to give me a solid substrate to fasten to, as well as providing a quarter inch recess. Technically, that is a coffered ceiling, but what we're going to do is we're going to take our tongue and groove ASEC uh, tongue and groove nickel gap profile. We're going to flip it around and use the WP4 profile. So time to measure and install. Let's take a look. Measuring each step of the way is ideal. If any board wavers, it could throw off the entire look of the porch ceiling. The WP4 profile is one of many profiles offered by AZEC that would fit in any port ceiling application. Traditional B-board has many variations, sold as pieces and sheet goods. Alright guys, you can see the imperfections along the, uh, the tongue and groove WP4 profiles. Don't worry about that. It'll be covered by our next step, which is installing our Rams crown. As we saw last week, we had a little bit left over from wrapping our column, so we're gonna utilize that in the port So seal. as we discussed last week, we wanna stand up our trim the way it's gonna be installed on the wall or on the ceiling. So let's chop away. Ensure your moldings fit snug where they meet at the inside corner. I suggest cutting a blade width extra. You can always trim as needed. Utilizing the flexibility of PVC, set one end in the miter corner and use a block and hammer to tap in the other end in place. So there it is, a coffered ceiling trimmed out with a ram's crown. The WP4 profile makes it look really nice and clean. All that's left is plugging the uh, Cortex screw and plugs and then uh, caulking up any imperfections. Be sure to use AZEC fill and flex for any touch ups. Not only will it stay pliable, but it also carries adhesive properties. The ceiling is plugged and painted with one coat. Two coats of acrylic latex paint will be needed to highlight this entry. Now, work. this is one project I'm pretty proud of. A few touch-ups and another coat of paint, and this project will be good to go. 
For any questions, samples, or literature, feel free to reach out to me directly. Thanks for joining this week's AZEC Trim Talk.